So we've all watched Mad Men, I'm sure, and we know that in the 1950s and 60s, women didn't have a lot of op op outlets within the organizations within they worked for groping, things like that, sexual assault, that in reality, most women are not gonna go to the criminal system. Most women have been sexually harassed, sexually assaulted in smaller ways like that. So I was just wondering, I think that from, from my perspective, the workplace is a better comparison to the school than the subway, because the subway, you can walk away, you're not gonna see that person again, et cetera. So I was just wondering if there's anything that we could learn from what's happened from the Mad Men era to now with sexual harassment cases in the workplace that we could apply to this. I think there's a ton to learn. Ginny Suk. So in, if this happened in the workplace, the federal law called Title VII would provide a way for that person to sue their employer for failing to prevent or to address a hostile work environment. Now, Title IX also is a law that one could use to sue one school for failing to address a hostile environment. Now, there are many ways to address a hostile environment. Do they all involve uh, an investigation, an adjudication, and a kind of trip tribunal like that? No. There are many ways to do the, do the work that an educational institution, consistent with its pedagogical mission, to educate its students, to nurture them, to promote a kind of culture where sexual harassment is not considered acceptable. Um, well, I, I, I must say, uh, and, and, and I um, appreciate the, the response that, that resonates with the audience, but I must say that in the workplace, we don't just say, well, the employer has to hold sensitivity training for his employees. Um, if, the, if in fact there was groping, then the employee has to be, the employee who did it, has to be disciplined, and no the employer can't get away with uh, his responsibility by just saying, I'm going to ramp up my sensitivity training. And I think your question is excellent because it is exactly analogous. Unlike the subway situation, the woman who's trying to pursue a career in the workplace cannot do that in a safe environment if she's subject to that kind of misbehavior, and there has to be a remedy. Uh, and converse, there can't be a remedy without deciding what happened. We can't allow uh, a woman or a man to say, this person's sexually harassing me, so get rid of him. We can't just, and this is where I part company with our opponents, I totally am unable to understand how they can say that schools can take action and, and uh, impose remedies without deciding whether the allegations ever happened or not.